due to popular demand, uh, from now on we will be delivering our videos in English. So bear with us because English is not really our mother language. Uh, we will be fumbling over our words because when we use English, we still need to think of the next word that we're going to use in our video. So bear with us and we will do our best in delivering our videos in English. Good morning. Today, we are again two days later. And again, we are going to harvest our pinot. Look here. We have already a number in our basket. And here we have again a lot of fresh pepinos or cucumbers that we can harvest. Look, what a canure. Just keep those a little bit longer. There's another one here. Oh, there's still more here. Wait a moment. I cannot really hold it anymore together because my hands are too small. This here, just another one here. Yeah. Wow, what an abundance. I think we can leave those there. I think that's enough for today. Maybe this afternoon, because they grow quite fast, maybe this afternoon we can again harvest a few more. And then tomorrow we sell those. Okay. When we reopened the Echo Backyard Farm, we only had one thing in our minds. It was efficiency. Why efficiency? Because uh, we wanted to make sure that all our resources are used properly. Nothing is wasted. So here at the Echo Backyard Farm, watering our plants is as easy as one, two, and three. I'm going to show you why or how. First step is one, unplug. Second step is to open the faucet. And the third step, number three, is let this open. So everything goes automatically. We don't waste any water, precious water. Especially when you're into farming, water is the most important thing you need to have. And uh, because of our efficiency, you can see already our plants are... Uh, growing nicely our hot peppers are already flowering in a few days they will be having bulbs of uh, hot peppers hi good morning welcome to eco backyard farm time to cut our grasses because it's too tall it had been raining a few days now you can see our grasses are already higher now me as the as the mama in the farm i'm also working that i uh, working cutting the grasses because uh how do you call that our men my two men are using the how do you call that the lawn mower because uh how do you call that uh they are so tall and they cannot use this grass cutter it's too short and then the leveling of the how do you call this of the blade it goes how do you call that it goes down, it cannot cut uh, level. on the level of the ground because they are so tall. So today, I will do that, especially for those places that are, uh, it needs uh, really to go in, that the machine, our lawnmower cannot do. So today I will show you how I will use the, the glass cutter. For us cutting the grasses with that machine, the blade would not be as leveled as when Mama is using it.
The machine is like designed for her height. This morning, I will also try to uh, tie up the tomatoes. For this, we use straw. So we cut a piece of the straw, then we, we take out a small part that is good enough to to oh yeah, that is good enough to tie the the tomato. We go around the stem. We tie it. We try to make a little. Now it's easy to take off again if it is needed. You see there are some buds already here. Like Jonathan showed already. See? So let them grow in peace. And we tie them up so that, you know, once they bear fruits, actually even before they bear fruits, the plant becomes so heavy that it will bend over and fall down. It will fall over. So we really have to tie it to, to, to a bamboo or before we would put strings like with the beans or, or with, the, with the pepino uh, but this time we just put bamboos we tied out with bamboos because they have some extra two bamboo. days ago uh, I planted uh, a variety, three varieties of seeds uh, in our half plot here and to see what will come out of them so uh, after two days they've already uh, sprouted these are the white cucumbers so they already sprouted and let's see what will grow out of them and you can see here the red beans it's already protruding from the soil so that means it's it, 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 it already had or it, it already sprouted uh, roots that's why it's like pushing itself out of the soil. Let's see in a few days time how they would look like. Now we're harvesting the first batch of uh, French beans. Actually, it's important to harvest your first batch on time. Why? Because if you leave the fruits to mature too much on the plant, it uh, makes the plant concentrate on those bigger fruits rather than the, the, the younger ones that are still sprouting. So if you want to continue producing a lot of fruits, you need to take out the bigger ones to allow the plant to give more nutrients to the smaller ones for them to grow and get bigger and produce more fruits. So French beans. Did you know that French beans here in the Philippines is very very expensive french beans you won't find french beans here in the philippines like this straight from the plant most of the time you find it in jars or cans a kilo of this here in the philippines costs four to five hundred pesos very expensive so we are very lucky to have our own french beans so i'll be enjoying harvesting the rest of them